This week on Premier Interschools, we look ahead to a massive encounter in Bloemfontein when one of the top schools in the north test their skills against the strongest rugby school in the Free State. It's Grey College versus Wurskwell Monument. Right here on Premier Interschools, live on Supersport. Premier Interschools rugby, feast your eyes on it. All of the schools ready to sing to one another, the players back to the fans. Oh, yes! Look at that, the sidestep. Oh, that's the stuff. Schoolboy rugby, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's the stuff. Schoolboy rugby, ladies and gentlemen. In this week's Premier Interschools Encounter, we have the mighty Wittmüller from Krugersdorp, Wurskoll Monument, popularly known as Monas, up against the formidable Great College in the Free State. Get ready for a monster match between two giants of schoolboy rugby. In 1855, when Sir George Grey was Governor of the Cape Colony, he donated £5,000 of his own money to found a school in the New Republic of the Orange Free State. The Sir George Grey School, later known as Grey College, opened its doors in 1855, with the first headmaster being the Scottish clergyman Andrew Murray. In 1904, it separated into a school and a university, giving rise to what is now the University of the Free State. The school has about 1,200 boys and three boarding houses. Notable sports alumni include the Olympic swimmer Reik Neertling and cricketers Kepler Vessels and Hansi Kronjier, but Gray is most well known for the 46 Springboks it has contributed, the second highest after Paul Roos. In this picture, taken at Mombella Stadium in 2013, there were no less than eight Old Greys playing in the Springbok game against Scotland. The final score was 30 points to 17 in favour of the hosts. The players are from left to right. Adrian Strauss, Piet van Sale, Jan Serfontein, Kuni Westhuizen, Flip van der Merwe, brothers Janni and Bismarck Duplessis, and Ruan Pinard. On either side are Old Grey 7 Springbok Robert Eberson and Lapis Lapis Kachni, who plays for Japan. We, we see Monument as one of our toughest challenges. We've played them sporadically throughout the years at various festivals, but this is probably our first top into schools against them. We're very excited. They bring a physicality to the game that we don't often encounter playing some of the schools that we do play. So it's going to be a massive opportunity for our boys to actually showcase what they have and whether they can stand up for the challenge that these youngsters will bring us. I mean, Monument's got a fantastic record, proud of rugby history. They've produced a number of Gauteng players as well, Lions players. So we are ready for them and, and we can't wait to host them because it will be a culmination of years and years of planning and we're ready for them. We asked coach Janni Geldenhuis for his thoughts on the Moners game. Yeah, Monument is always, I think they are well renowned for how, physically, how physical they can be. Um, we have a very good rich history with them. I think they are on the top three or four sides in South Africa when it comes to their record against us. And I don't think they will hold back. Um, I think like, like we played them in the 90s. Um, there was, we usually had a usual yearly into schools against them and it was tough, um, it was really tough rugby um, but what a privilege to uh, give the boys the opportunity to be able to experience that and to really take hands with them again um, it's almost 20 years later um, for us to get this into schools going again so we are very excited to almost pick up all ties with them and to get back on the field and play rugby against them. Looking back at the last 10 results, the 2022 team has had an excellent season so far. Their only defeat to date was to Paddle Gum. They drew with Oakdale 
and scored solid victories against the stiff opposition of Paul Boys and Uffies. The Grey Boys are preparing for a physical game against the Wittbüller from Krugersdorp. They will have home ground advantage, but the Monas side is well conditioned and up for the challenge. This is going to be a tight, exciting game of schoolboy rugby. Ja, en jij monument. Het ons, het ons reëel gaan was ook een fysische game geweest, dat ik je waarschuw kan gebruiken. En ja, volgend jaar toen stappen monument speler en gaan in. Zo, ja, ik denk dat die invloed wat ons op monument gaat het die dag. En ik denk, ja. Dat gaan we aardig doen via die hard work. En ja, definitief in om iets te zien. I remember under 14 we played them at at Valle Club in Kimberley. And that it our team wasn't set that time. We were still building, so we were still catching on to how to become better a better team. And this year, what I can expect is, as usual, a tough game. Every game is a tough game. But I trust my team. We've been building since under 14. We're going to pull through with a win. In the East, we played Monument in under 14 and under 15 as well. Um, it's a very physical game. They give it their all against us. Um, we can expect a tough and physical game like always against Monument, but it's for sure one to look forward to. Historically, the two schools were starting to become a regular fixture prior to the pandemic but they have only played against each other three times in the last eight years. However, the scoreboard is even, with each school notching a win, a loss and a draw. So there's massive pride at stake in this game, as each school will want to take home the bragging rights. Founded in 1921, Wurskal Monument takes its name from the historic Par de Kral monument across the road. Erected in 1880, in commemoration of a vow by local citizens to fight for independence from the British Empire. One of its most famous alumni is the Nobel Peace Prize laureate and former South African president, the late F.W. de Klerk. The modern's first rugby team is known as De Wittbilla, playing in their famous white jerseys. The school is regularly ranked as one of the top ten in the country and it has produced nine Springboks to date, including World Cup players Brendan Fenter and Jacques Ferry, and more recently, Jaco Tata, Ruan Dreyer, and Julian Riedlingheis. Shoo, it's, it's, it's going to be very, very tough. Now, we've played since 1984 for the first time against Grey College Bloom. We've played against them for 18 times. We won six and we lost 12, but we've got the best winning percentage against Great College Bluefontein of all the schools in South Africa, and we're very proud of that. But it's going to be tough, exciting. Um, it's going to be, uh, there's going to be a lot of spectators. I know that some of the Bitbull old boys is going down to Monas in uh, Artu Grain in buses, so we expect a lot of atmosphere at, at Great at Grey in Bluefontein uh, on the Saturday. We spoke to first team coach Jacques van der Valt about his thoughts ahead of their encounter with Grey College. When you play rugby for Monas, it's not about just playing rugby. You have to develop as a rugby player in our system. But um, through the values and traditions in Monas, we want to let the boys develop as fine young men. To, to be examples uh, when they go into to adult life. People must see they come from Monas because they've got good manners and good disciplines and uh, must take it through to their life one day. Playing, playing great college is always a, 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 tough, a hard task, uh, especially in Bloemfontein, that doesn't make it easier. Um, we know when you go down to Bloemfontein, uh, you have to be on your A game. If you bring anything else than your best, um, you have, will have a long day at the office. Um, better, a proud rugby team, a proud rugby school, just like Monas. So uh, when those two teams get onto the field, it's going to be a, a great battle. The Wittbiller have had a good season to date, racking up wins against strong contenders like Garsfontein, DHS, Marlow, Westville and Oakdale. They lost to the two Paul schools and to Otaniqua, all formidable opponents. The Wittbiller have earned their battle scars, 
They are now a seasoned, experienced side, and we can expect a quality encounter against an equally tough great college team. Definitely the game to watch this weekend. The vibe of the span is very great this year. We have a few hundred seventies in span. We bring a lekker vibe and a new vibe. We are doing good together. We all know each other. We all know the roles. We all know how to play and how to trust. I had 114 and 15 in Grey played. It was always a great span to play. They bring the best out of you. They have a good game plan. They came with each other the field. My partner in 1983 and 1984 played for the Wittbulle. Oskakel. He was a great player. He was a great player for his football. The last time I played against Grey College was under 14 and 15. They are a strong team. They rise up to the occasion every time since they, they're well known for their tra traditions and they've been number one in the country for quite a long time right now. But that doesn't matter for us because so during that day, during that time, we have to rise up to the occasion also because during that time it's all about the jersey, it's all about who wants it the most. That is obviously a great school, uh, school, but we are also a good school. We are going to be able to respond to the arts or be ready to be able to give the day. Heen. Die meeste reg is vir die game, so ja, ek weet nie, dit gaan maar net ons alles gee en dan wat gebeur sal moet gebeur. Kick-off is this Saturday, the 28th of May. Get ready for a monster game in Bloemfontein. It's Grey College versus Wurstkool Monument in Premier Inter Schools, live on Supersport this Saturday. Premier Inter Schools rugby, feast your eyes on it. All of the schools ready to sing to one another, the players back to the fans. Oh, yes! Look at that, the sidestep. Oh, that's the stuff. Schoolboy rugby, ladies and gentlemen.